Hey everybody, I'm John Dietz, speaker, trainer, coach, and business builder for eXp Realty. And today we're gonna to talk about the future of real estate. And what I mean by that is where do where is the real estate industry going? So this is my opinion based on an observation and a forecast where I think we're going uh, and where we're going to be in the next five years. And I'm gonna start by having a conversation with you about pipelines versus platform models in business. A good example of a pipeline model would be a retail store, all right? So we'll use JCPenney as an example here. And you've got JCPenney, the corporation, you have um, distribution, shipping, and you have uh, bricks and mortar space. So you have these giant stores that cost a lot of money uh, just in monthly rent to keep the store open, uh, not even including utilities. Another major expense that exists in this space right here is staff, employees. So both of those are astronomical when it comes to being expensive. And then you have you and me down here at the bottom of the customers. Now, that's a pipeline business. What Amazon did is Amazon came along and they eliminated these expenses, but most importantly, they eliminated that bricks and mortar space and all of the staff that goes with it. And they brought you up here and me in a relationship with the company. Now, we're saving money. Uh, it's a better experience because we can sit at home, jump on our computer, buy anything we want and have it shipped to our front door uh, the next day and a lot of time the same day. Now, another example would be Blockbuster and Netflix. So Blockbuster is a pipeline business. Uh, they have to produce a product. That's the cassettes or the, 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 the DVDs and uh, the video recordings, gee whiz. And they have to ship those, um, those, those cassettes, those videos, the DVDs to the store. And then again, you have bricks and mortar, you have space and you have staff and you have employees. And again, this is where the biggest expense is, okay? Now, Netflix came along and they eliminated these expenses. Most importantly, they eliminated that store and the staff that goes with it. And they gave you and me, the customer, to have an opportunity to be side by side with the company, get a better product for less money and less time with less hassles and not have to worry about returning the movie so that we don't have to pay late fees. All right. Other examples of pipeline businesses versus platform businesses would be the hotel industry uh, versus Airbnb. It would be the taxi, taxi service versus Uber. Uh, another great example is your phone. Uh, prior to smartphones, uh, in order for you to use multiple different technology services, you would need different devices in order to do that. Now, today you have a smartphone where all of your apps live in one location and it, it makes it a better experience. It's easier, it's more efficient, it can be more cost effective. Um, platforms work. Now, how does this look in the real estate space? Uh, I'm gonna use a typical brokerage. Um, let's just say any number of brokerages. So Cobalt Banker, Century 21, Remax, uh, Keller Williams, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, if I left any off, I'm sorry. Now, if it's a franchise model, then underneath the brokerage, you're gonna have regional owners. They need to make money. Underneath the regional owners, you have local franchise owners. They wanna make a profit. And the franchise owners, they have expenses. And again, the biggest expense is that bricks and mortar space, rent and staff. And it could be anywhere from 15 to $30,000 a month for rent and anywhere from 20 to $40,000 a month for staff. You do the math, add it up, it's a lot, okay? Now, in 2009, Glenn Sanford introduced the first platform real estate model to the industry. Now, what Glenn did 
is again, he eliminated uh, regional owners. He eliminated franchise owners. And uh, the biggest savings to the company, again, was this space right down here. It's the bricks and mortar and the staff. Now, what he was able to do by doing that is he took the agent down here at the very bottom, uh, so far at the bottom that you can't even see it on your screen, but I promise it's there. <laughs> and he brought the agent up here in a 50-50 relationship with the company. Now, by doing that, he was able to provide you and I, the real estate agents, with an opportunity to become an owner in the business. Um, here's how that works. He gave you an opportunity to be an owner because you have equity ownership through stocks in the company that you earn by selling real estate and um, earning different levels of stocks based on your production. He also gave his agent partners the opportunity to purchase shares from their commissions at a 10% discount. Now he also did that, this is a big one, by taking the money the company made, which is a max of $16,000 a year, that's the cap, and splitting that 50-50 with you, 50-50 with the agent. So 8,000 of the $16,000 goes back to revenue share, and then 8,000 goes to the company. That's how the company is paying um, expenses and the rest is profit. And you as an agent have an opportunity to build an organization within an organization, to build a business within a business using a platform. Again, remember this isn't possible unless it's on a platform model. And by doing that, he's given real estate agents an opportunity to build um, business they own that works when they're not working. It get, it's given real estate agents an opportunity to get out of the people pile, stop being a technician, working in a silo, and, and to own a business that makes money when they're not working. Now, it, it gives a real estate agent the option if they choose to get out of production and run a real estate business and they're making money through revenue share. Now, there's other platforms in the industry. Since EXP uh, first started in 2009, uh, Real Broker was the next one to come along and then most recently, LPT. And I'm not here to do a comparison. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I just want to let you know there are other options out there. Now, I'm going to close with this. I believe the future of the real estate industry is this. Now, here's why. It, commissions are getting squeezed and everybody's making less money. And these bricks and mortar real estate brokerages are spending anywhere from three hundred dollars to $500,000 a year on rent and staff. And it's just hard to do that with all of the other expenses that exist. And, and it's causing a lot of them to be, to, to not make a profit. Now a business that goes a long period of time without making a profit, they're gonna close their doors, just like JCPenney did, just like Blockbuster did, all right? If you're an owner of an independent brokerage and you're listening to this video or you're watching this video, you might be thinking, John, you're right. It, and it's not just with those big brokerages. It's with us independent brokerages as well. Guys, I get it. I really do. You opened up that independent brokerage because you wanted to be able to leverage um, real estate agents in order to grow a business. And, and the problem that you're facing is the number one producer in your office is you. You're making profit on your sales, on your real estate production, you're making a profit. The challenge with that is you wanna grow a business. Now to grow a business, you have to take time to recruit agents, to attract talent. You have to take time to train and coach those agents in order to help them succeed. And every time you do this, you're taking yourself out of production. The one thing you're making money at, you're not doing. So you stop recruiting, you stop training, you stop coaching, you get back in the production and now agents are leaving. 
and and you're stuck on this perpetual hamster wheel that just never ends and it can be extremely frustrating now the good news for you is you do have other options if i was an independent brokerage owner I would look at running my brokerage on this platform, leveraging the training and the coaching, the systems, models, tools, technology that one of these platform companies offer and reduce my expenses so that I can make more of a profit and eventually find myself owning a business that works when I don't work. I'm John Dietz speaker, trainer, coach, business builder with eXp Realty. If you want to talk to me about being a part of the group that we're building here in Florida that will eventually expand outside the state of Florida. So wherever you are, if you want to talk to me about being a business partner with me, I want to work with you. Reach out to me. My contact information is below. You can call me. You can email me. And there's a Calendly link, <laughs> I just can't say that word, uh, link right below. Click it and schedule 15 minutes to jump on Zoom with me. I'd love to chat with you. All right, everybody, I'm John Dietz. Thank you for joining me today. And as always, make it a great day.